My beef was with Lior because I think he's a fake CEO and I think he's fronting on my culture, but he can't front on anybody else. And I'm calling him out publicly and I want him to stop trying to rape my culture, go make some money with some other people. Like, stop having your agenda be hip hop. Like when Joey was like, our agenda to open up asylum was to go, it didn't say nothing about going to get no rock and roll. It was go to get people that they don't even care about and make money from them. Yeah, just get money in their culture. Let them do it. Let, let's let the violence stay there. Let's, let's benefit from, from the violence and, and not bring in, let, you know what I mean? It was like they have people that their job is to create beef so that they can monetize it, pause, but they don't let their culture feel it but they make money from it and they can't mon make any money or get any respect in their culture. That's why they're in our culture. Because the minute that they were allowed to be there, they would go, but they just can't. You know, the question should be, why don't you do something besides rap? And if you are rolling to rap, what have you done to give back to the community? I didn't know why that wasn't asked. Those were the questions that I was like, damn, if you're going to cross me, Combat Jack, Reggie Osei, ask some good questions. It almost looked like it was scripted. But you know, it is what it is. It's a perfect example of what they always do to us. They always try to you know, offer some paper bag of money or whatever it is, whatever selfish agenda, which is the test, and then have us divide so they could benefit and take the fight off of them and put the focus on them. Never had a beef with Jay, always with Lior and his whole crew. He's the one that ruined Rockefeller, Lior Cohen. There, there was, when you talk about that situation, they, they gave Jay Rockefeller back after you guys sold it, right? I don't know, man. I don't want to go back to that. I'm just talking about me having to be for Lee or Cohen. See? You see how it always transitions back to Jay? Lee or Cohen. That's my beef. Pause. Not Jay. What do you think about the new label? Was it 300? I don't know nothing about his whatever they doing. Whatever he's doing is robbing whoever he's in business with. So whoever's in business with them, I suggest they check their paperwork. I bet you've given a lot of, 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 a lot of your ass is gone, about 360 of it. <laughs> Maybe about 400 now. If he say 300, then he mean he's taking four. <laughs> I, I could tell you that a Young Thug, uh, I heard, was signed to 300. So you should ask him about his contract. He, he's managed by Birdman. Okay, so I'm sure they didn't then. I'm sure they know who to rob and who not to. You know, like I said, I can't speak on anybody's business, but if there's any advice I could give, I will. But I just wouldn't advise working with him just based on my history. That's all. I know what he did with me. I know how he played it. I know that he doesn't care about the culture. And I know that he doesn't even feel that he has to even say anything. He's still walking around like I'm not, I'm not questioning it, like he doesn't have to acknowledge it. I'm a relevant person from this culture and I'm asking you a question publicly. What have you done for our culture? You cheated. And I'm calling him out publicly. I had things to do. I didn't have the time to do it before. And he was using Warner's money and he was using Universal's money for his own agenda. And I'm not counting that man money. I'm just saying that's the way he rapes our culture. He says, I'm going to go. He collects money from a bigger company and says, I'm going to go get all this urban stuff and then spends it on his kids and himself. Because that's what I saw him do in front of me. What you think about Lior? I don't know Lior, I'll be honest. Do you know anything that he's done in hip hop? Like all these questions, that was the person that was behind a lot of the, 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 the stuff that was going on. Like, that's what I mean. Why do y'all want to know about the rappers? The, 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 like, aren't y'all curious? Like, y'all been talking about the same thing for five years. Don't y'all want to know about the other side of the story? Ask about Lior, Todd Moskowitz, Moskowitz, and all those players. You know, Julie Greenwald. Ask about those players. Ask them about their perspective on what happened. Why don't they get questioned? Why, they make money off us every day. Let's make some money off them. Period. Like, let them see how it feels. Just reverse it. It's about perspective. Like, go interview Lior and ask him those questions. Vlad, call that man. Call Kevin Lowes. I, I don't think I've ever seen a Lior Cohen interview. Exactly. Of course you don't see. Interview. Of course you don't see the puppet master. So it's time to see him. Bring him out. Call out Todd Moskowitz. He's wearing a scarf. He running around acting like he's doing something he's not. He got a job because of nepotism. Ask them why they got their jobs. That's what I want to see. How did Joey get the job president of Urban? And what does that mean? I need to see credentials. And culturally, anyone that's taking orders from that man should be asking, why should I be taking orders from you? Period. And if you answer that question honestly, then maybe you'll feel better about it. But they're not even, yo, dog, he got on the radio and said, I don't even care what y'all. You know, my questions was the same questions that everybody's asking. He don't care. I don't care. He said it. 
Joey said it. I don't care. How you feel about the culture? I don't care. How do you feel that someone relevant from the culture thinks you're robbing it? I don't care. And nobody's going to question that? All right, that's why I'm Dame. I'll just continue to be Dame. I'm going to have fun being Dame. I mean, you talk about a lot of stuff about, about these various people, about Joey, about Todd, about Lior. Yeah. I mean, is there anything specific, you know, that really bothered you during that time? Because, you know, it's, it's kind of too many. In I, already said, I already said the thing, the Max B thing. I already said the currency thing, the Jay-Z shit, all of that. I didn't like none of that shit. I don't like it, and it keeps happening. So I don't want it to happen no more. Too much divide and conquer. So that's it, man. I'm just saying reverse the perspective. Let's stop talking about rappers beefing. Let's start talking about these people and educating the culture because the culture is articulate. So I want the culture, when you see it in public, to be smart. The fights should be smart. Let's focus on the, our, the, the, the intelligent part of our culture as opposed to the ignorant part. And let's start questioning the administrators as well. And let's just question it. I'm not saying they did anything wrong, but I think they can't just say, I don't care. I think they have the they, I think they should at least be able to answer a question if it's a, asked in a respectful way. So I just want them just as famous as me. Lior Cohen, Julie Greenwall, Todd Moskowitz, uh, Joey or Joey, whatever. There's a couple, but those I think we should start with them. And whoever hired Joey, I want to know why he got hired from uh, from uh, from Interscope. And I want to know what that title means, President of Urban, and why, he, he, why another black man should be calling him the President of Urban and asking him what he could do, what he can and cannot do. I think it's very disrespectful. And I think it should change. And I think there should be some, some social responsibility and some consciousness, and some people should question it. And I, I don't give a fuck because none of y'all cut my checks. None of y'all. Y'all can't affect none of my business. So I can say all of this. You can't blackball me because you can't hire me. None of y'all use your own money. So stop acting like you have the ability to blackball me. That's not the case. You can't. I blackball you, you know? I'm never going to hire none of y'all. You're blackballed, all of y'all. So with that said, it's out there. I laid it out there. I think it should be intelligent. There's no violence. I just think that there should be questions asked. And I'm also posing it to everyone, every journal, every DJ. Start pulling those guys out for interviews and asking them the real questions.